Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? Anytime we talk about the Saints in the quarterback position, there's always a lot of feelings because of the way that the Saints historically have addressed the position. And part of me started thinking about this today because I was, I was looking at, at ESPN.com and they put together a, a quarterback mock draft. They basically looked at every quarterback and where they might be taken in this draft. And they do have the Saints picking a quarterback and it's Michael Pratt out of Tulane in round five at number 150 overall. Um, and they may, did talk about the Saints being financially committed to Derek Carr, but you know the Pratt being a four-year starter... The mobility, the poise under pressure, the upside, all that sort of stuff. Obviously, Jameis Winston gone. Um, is there a spot for a backup? And maybe it could be Pratt. And listen, the local angle aside, be, being that he's a, a, a two-lane kid who you know could stay in the city and, and, and play for the Saints, uh, the local angle aside, I, I would be good with that. I, that's what I kind of had to come to the, to, to the decision. Would I be okay with the Saints using another pick on a quarterback this year after doing that a year ago with Jake Hayner in round four. And the ultimately what I kind of came down to the decision is, if your strategy around the quarterback position hasn't worked, then you got to do something different. And the Saints have been in existence now for 57 years. 57 years. And in 57 years, the New Orleans Saints have drafted 22 quarterbacks. That's it. In 57 years, they've taken 22 quarterbacks. You want to go a little deeper? One in the first round. We all know that was Archie Manning. Never have the Saints taken a quarterback in round two. They have used a third-round pick on a quarterback one time. Garrett Grayson. That's it. And they've taken four fourth-round quarterbacks. Doug Nussmeyer, Danny Werfel, Ian Book, Jake Hayner. After that, there's nothing even, even worth mentioning. There's a lot of Sean Canfield mixed in there. Yes, they did take Mark Bulger in round six in 2000. They cut him in training camp. Now, Bulger went on to be a starting quarterback in the NFL, and that was a miss by the Saints. But that's the closest thing that they've, they've gotten to draft. I mean, in 1988, in round 10, they drafted Todd Santos. In 76, in round 11, they drafted Greg Kokel. Uh, you understand my point here. So, in 57 years... You've only taken 22 quarterbacks in 57 years, and only six of them have been in the first four rounds. One in the top two rounds, ever. The Saints, to put it plainly, the Saints have never invested draft capital in finding a starting quarterback. There's no other way to say it. Outside of Archie Manning, the Saints have not invested draft capital legitimately in defining a starting quarterback. What they have done historically is tried to find free agent quarterbacks that could be a starter. And I'm talking, but if you go back to Jim Everett or Jeff Blake, Aaron Brooks, Jameis Winston, Derek Carr, the one time they hit, of course, was Drew Brees. And it was the biggest hit in the history of the of the organization, obviously. He's a first ballot Hall of Famer. When he retired, he held every NFL passing record. And he's one, he's on the short list of the greatest to ever play the position in the history of the NFL. But in 57 years, you hit on that one time. You want to wait another half century to find another, another Hall of Fame caliber quarterback? Point is, your strategy doesn't work. Or excuse me, your strategy works 
once every half century. Okay. So God willing, I live to be 90. I might see another one with the way the Saints strategize. So you have two options, really. If, if we agree that the strategy of trying to find the free agent that somebody else's trash is now your treasure, if this strategy works once every half century and you want to have a little more success than that, you have two options. You either use a first-round pick on a quarterback, you, which, which, again, is high risk, high reward, right? You could draft Patrick Mahomes. You could draft John Elway. You could draft Zach Wilson, Mitchell Trubisky, EJ Manuel. There's a long list of first-round draft pick quarterbacks that were busts. You know what else? If you look at starting quarterbacks in the NFL right now, what do they have in common? Overwhelmingly, the 32 starting quarterbacks in the NFL were first-round draft picks. Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Matthew Stafford, Tua, Goff, Yes, C.J. Stroud. You're going to find your Kirk Cousins, your Dak, your Purdy. But you're going to find more Jordan Love. You're going to find more Baker Mayfield, Trevor Lawrence, Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert. That's what you're going to find more of in the NFL. So you got to take your shot on a first-round quarterback or, or you have to draft a quarterback every year. And I don't think the Saints are going to commit first-round capital to draft on a quarterback. So my opinion now, moving forward, is I need them to draft a quarterback every year. And you can laugh and hem and haw and think that's stupid, but the only way you're going to find Kirk Cousins in round four, Dak Prescott in round four, Russell Wilson in round three, Tom Brady in round six, Brock Purdy in round seven. I'm not saying it's common. But unless if you shoot your shot, you can't, it can't go in. You can't make the putt if you leave it short. You got to make the pick. So, yeah, you drafted Jake Hayner a year ago. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. If Michael Pratt's on the board in round five and you're committed to that guy, let's go. Maybe he can become your franchise quarterback. I'm not telling you you're going to find the guy that's Russ and wins MVPs and goes to the Super Bowl. I'm not telling you you're going to find Dak who becomes your franchise quarterback. And while Dak hasn't had the playoff success, he's had plenty of, of regular season success. Same with Kirk Cousins. More than likely, they're going to be maybe serviceable backup players in the league or not make the team at all. But the one undeniable truth is that you cannot win in the NFL without great quarterback play. Can't do it. You're not going to see another Trent Dill for a Brad Johnson. It's just... The, the game is too offensive. You can't lean on great defense and have a, ma a game manager at quarterback and win the Super Bowl. You have to have Patrick Mahomes. You have to have that star caliber player at the most important position in organized team sports. So you've got to go find that guy because the guy's not on your roster right now. So you want to take a shot in this draft? Good. And take a shot in next year's draft as well. And the next 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 until you find that guy. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.